My god, look at the size of those things. Welcome to Stuff We Play, home of everything weird and retro. If that sounds cool to you, why not subscribe and holy crap. I don't usually do unboxing videos, but I just got both of these massive packages in the mail. These both came from my buddy Frank in Germany. If you don't know who Frank is, but he was in my uh, Nerdy Days of Christmas vlog. So what did Frank send me? Well, you know it's in one of these boxes if you saw the title, and keep in mind, like, I don't usually do unboxing videos, it's not really my type of style, but this is just too cool to pass up. To begin with, let's go with the smaller package, and let's get this thing, put my mic out. So come on, let's get this thing open. Who needs a box cutter when you have car keys? Frank, there's so much tape on this. Dude, I could have just run down to the kitchen and gotten scissors, but no, that I, I was too excited and I just had, had to start filming and turn on the camera before I could even get a box cutter or something. I mean, geez. It's open! Let's see what's in here. Oh, more tape. Frank, so much tape. Sponges. Wow, I really love sponges. Like, sponges are great. The only thing that'd make this better would be if it was filled with Chester Cheetah popcorn. You were legitimately worried about this thing showing up in one piece, and no, man, it's, wow, this thing is immaculate. This is an old CRT TV, which I didn't realize before, but it actually has a VHS player. I don't know if it works, but worth getting a shot. But the main thing of note here is this is the plug. You'll notice that this is a EU plug. So it looks like it can actually take a DC 12 in. So uh, I'll look into that. But what's the other thing I got from Frank? Well, let's open this big boy right here. Wow, packing peanuts. But more importantly, I think this first item will give you a hint of everything that's in here. Holy crap, like, holy crap, a mouse pad, a keyboard. This thing is immaculate, holy Let's pull this, you know what? Oh, I'll just shower myself with packing peanuts. What do we have here? Holy crap, floppy disks. So many floppies. Oh. And here we have it. This behemoth is an Amiga 2000 computer from Germany. Now, I've always wanted one, but I also always noted that if I were to get one, it'd have to be European because Europe just got so many more games. Uh, looks like the CD drive, which is an add-on by the way. Normally you just see it with like two floppy drives. Got a tiny bit dented in transit. Let's look at the floppies. We have Elite something, Super Brickout, Bubble Bobble, Elite Frontier, Cow Wars, Badlands, Workbench, which is important. Let's see, Workbench 4.2, Octagon 2008, which is funny because it was made in 1993. Pinball Fantasies. Oh my god, this is one I've wanted to play for a long, long time. The Great Guiana Sisters, better known as Super Mario Brothers The Ripoff. Monster something? Silkworm. Oh my god. Donkey Kong. Blockout. Speedball 2. Uh, Workbench 1.2, which I guess is kind of unneed since I have 4.3. Then we also have the Amiga Mouse and it's all of its cheese wedge glory. And then finally we have one final thing, which is this complete? I think this is complete. Ghost and Goblins. Wow, this is so cool. Even though this was bought and played with in Germany, the back of the box is all in perfect English, so. Frank, I, I really don't know what to say about all this. I mean, this is now the crown jewel of my gaming collection and just, know that I've always wanted to meet, but when I met, I always get, imagine I'd get like an A600 or something, but man, I, 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 I'm literally speechless. Like this thing is incredible. I'm excited to get a converter to try this out because holy crap, this is incredible. There's so much you can do with Amigas. You know, I can 
only imaginable would be like, you know, once I, I, I look into getting like, you know, maybe some sort of compact flash or SD solution, whatnot, or I don't know. This is nice too, because this is my first ever Commodore system. Like I've won either an Amiga or C64 forever now because I just really wanted to get into Commodore stuff. And this, holy crap, man. I'll take good care of it too. I know this was your personal a2000 back in the day, so thanks a ton, Frank. Along with sending a big, hearty, uh, amazing thanks to Frank, because holy crap, I'm speechless. I'd like to send a thank you to everyone for watching this. I know this isn't my typical type of video, but I just really need to talk about this. So with that, thank you very much for watching. Stay classy. I'm probably gonna run up to the source or something right now to try to get some sort of converter so I can plug this in and try it out. And uh, I'll see you next time.